got to be kidding me. <sighs> you certainly are persistent. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that will help me revive the Demon King. You're incessant buzzing around my head like some irksome gadfly when I'm this busy as well. It's making me very disagreeable. Oh. Ancient Automation Kalaktos? Kalaktos. This ancient automation defends the ancient cistern and eliminates intruders. The cursed energy supply Girahim provided to this contraption has given it power far beyond its conventional limits. The red orb shaped core is embedded in this torso and arms provided limited stability and prevented from falling to pieces. I kind of get it. So, in other words, we need to go behind it. Do I need to do something with this? Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get what I have to do here. Using the whip. Kadirk. Alright, can you do that again? Alright, I need you to drop one of your hands again. Because I think I have an idea. Yep. That. And I have to do it to all of your hands. And then... No. Just that. And then when you're... You need to release the core. That's what I'm... Yes! Can I stab your core? Well, first of all, I'm going to pieces. Can I stab you? I can't stab it. Does it seems I can stab it. This is how I deal damage. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's not dead. Not in the slightest. I did not expect it to go down, so... I guess I'm going to do that continuously until he dies. So you can release some moves, and I still have a fairy, so you know what? If bad things happen, I'm not terribly worried. I'll just break your arms apart again. I'm not too worried about this. I think I understand how this guy is beaten. I don't know why I went away. I have it out, so. Alright, come on. Do it again, pal. You got this. Oh, I have to break his other arms. Or else, well, he blocks it. And that hit, that hurt pretty bad. Well, I mean, it didn't hurt that bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, I was trying to dodge it. It didn't work. Come on, do it. One, two. Now. Slash, slash, slash. Come on, die, please. Nope. Is he done? Dude, I've been hacking and slashing at you for quite a bit of time now. And I'm surprised you're not dead. Is that not enough for you? No. Now he can move. Oh. Okay. This is not going to be the same fight. Not in the slightest. However, I can break your arms off just as I like you. And hello. What? What the heck? Do I really am supposed to do this? I can't cut his arms off with it. Yes, I know I'm at low health. Slice you with this, right? Whoa, guy, you gotta run. So where do I supposed to hit you? In the head? It's not doing damage. I 
don't know how to hit you in this when you're doing that. I can pick up the swords, but... Okay, now you're gonna go psycho. Okay. And how do I stop you from doing that exactly? Are you gonna drop your arms now, like before? That would be kind of nice. Come on, do it. Okay. Oh. Really? Oh god. This, this, that. And they're gonna go psycho. Okay. Oh, I had the opportunity too. I'm so bad at this. Okay. You know what? I think I have to slice his arms off. Come on, give me this. Oh my gosh. I need some parts. Like, really bad. I do have a fairy, but... Okay. Okay, pick up the sword now. Come on, do it again. Okay, I seem to get it. So I have one more to cut off, so come on, do it. And there. Am I supposed to hit... Am I supposed to... When you're running, am I supposed to grab your head and then do something with that? I only have one shot. Come on. I don't understand. Am I supposed to do this? I had the right idea, right? Oh, I was supposed to cut your legs off. There we go. I get it. Just slice it away. Okay, I get it. I finally got it. After all this time, I finally understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. Now that I'm appearing to be really bad at this game, now we can fight him for realsies, because I now know how to do it. Alright, buddy. Come on. Drop your arms. I have this. I have this in the bag. And don't do that. I don't like that. I'll kill you guys off. Oh god. You know what? I have another fairy. I'm okay. No, wait, I didn't have another fairy. Oh no. Alright guys, so I am back. I decided to make it back to this phase again. Now that I finally know how to do it... Okay, so let's see if I can do it right this time. I know I died right after I figured it out. This time, I know for sure I've gotten it. So, first of all, let's get his hand out of here. And yes, I know I can pull the sword, and I know what to do with that, so let's wait until he drops his other arms. Oh wait, do I have to grab these sword and slice him off? Yes, I do. Now... I can pick up the sword, and when he's stunned, I can slice the sword sideways, cut his legs off, and then slice him with his own sword. That is how we do this. I know I figured that out late, but I figured it out at least for sure. And I love how I did that behind him. That's pretty funny. Now he's going to start slicing and dicing away. But this time I got you, right where I want you. You don't scare me, my friend. I mean, yeah, you are a really cool boss, but I know how to beat you, and that's all that matters. We can get you out of here. So, come on. Okay, don't do that. I could, yeah, I could just walk on. Okay, let's get you guys out. And run. Because I know that was a... Okay. Hearts. We need those. 
Okay, come on, do that again. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Arms away. And I got your sword. Okay. Stop doing that. Now you're gonna run. You're gonna run. Run, please. Run, please. You're not gonna run? Well, now you're gonna run. After I told you you should have ran. But slice your arms off. Come over here. And just start slicing away at your corner. You're going to die right now. Get out of here. Are you done? Oh my god, you're not done. Oh no. How many parts of this fight are there? Oh my goodness. Right when I thought I figured you out, and I thought I did, but you're gonna come right over here and prove me wrong. Come on. I have you beaten. I know how to beat you, come on. Alright, you can release your... But you're gonna die. One way or another! Okay. At least drop hearts. That's fine. Alright, come on. Do that again. Come on. This time I know how to die. I don't really care about you guys, really. Let's get out of here. This. There we go. Now you're gonna go psycho. Stop that. You can stop that. Please stop that. Please stop that. Come on. Okay, you're gonna stop that. I love this. I love this, uh. Okay. Now that we're done with that shot. Oh, I could still slice off his arm regardless. And I can start killing him, regardless. Is that it? Okay, that was it. Whew. That fight gave me a challenge. I mean, not like the other ones didn't, but... That was an exceptionally cool boss to an exceptionally cool dungeon. And there's that heart container I've been searching for. Well, not really been searching for, but a nice little reward to a very to a very satisfying moment. Burps. You got a heart container, we get a one life energy. Now we're down to 12 hearts. Really getting close to that good old 20. And just for a measure, we got a cool sword. Let's get the heck out of here. We have done what we had to do. Let's do this. I can't even. All right, and all that we can do. That Skyward Strike. And there's one of the flames that we were spoken about. Very, very bright and green and amazing and stuff. <laughs> okay, Fi. Raise your sword, Master. How does it not burn your hand? But it's got a nice green glow. Freaking love it, man. The flames of Forare have improved your sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. 
twice as much damage. Oh, that is nice. That is such a good thing. Because you know I suck at this game, so... Double damage is very nice. Sacred Flame has purified your blade, enhancing and evolving it. With your sword now in hand, you are ready to learn a new melody. We should return to the Isle of Songs. Alright, you guys. First of all, let me just say, I had such a great time with this dungeon. That was such a cool dungeon, I can't even believe. The boss was freaking amazing. The dungeon, although it was a water dungeon, it was spectacular. The puzzles were so cool, and it was just a smooth breeze through it. I mean, it wasn't that hard. The only thing I could say that was really difficult in the dungeon itself was the first few minutes of learning that order or whatever. Learning the order of the statue and the boss. The boss was by far the hardest part of the dungeon, but I had such a good time with it regardless of the difficulty. Overall, I have to say, it's going to be pretty hard to beat that. And I have to say, it's probably my favorite dungeon in the game so far. So, next time on Skyward Sword Blind, we're going to go back to the Isle of Songs and learn a new melody and see what else we can do. I'm not exactly sure yet. I haven't really gotten that far. So, with that being said, Thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I will see you guys next time for some more Skyward Sword Blind. See you guys then.